Hi, I'm Jim. I'm a learning specialist at the Cincinnati Museum Center, and today we're going to make a catapult. Now, a catapult is a really cool tool that's been around for thousands of years. Whenever you had a castle and you really, really wanted to get inside, a catapult's the way you'd do it. And we're going to make ours entirely out of office supplies. So what you're going to need for this experiment are a bunch of pencils. The design we're using uses eight, but you can try and come up with your own designs too after you've seen how we do it. Then you're also going to need a thick heavy metal uh, paper clip like this one, a plastic spoon, rubber bands, and a rubber eraser as your projectile. You're also going to need just a little bit of tape. Now this design is pretty simple. It's almost entirely triangles and it's made just with the supplies we have. And it is a really good example of a lever. That's all a catapult basically is, is a lever to move an object from resting here to flying that way. And levers, you can use them all over the place. We use them in almost every aspect of our daily lives. And they are incredibly cool because they let us use just a little bit of energy and force to become incredibly strong. Uh, in fact, a famous person once said that if you give him a lever large enough, he could use it to move the entire world. And we're not gonna do that today, we're just gonna move a little rubber band. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is take one rubber band, or excuse me, one pencil rather, and a second pencil, and this is gonna be our launching arm. And we are going to put them together just by taking a rubber band, hanging it over the arm end, and making a T like this. Take the rubber band, and just wrap it over and over and over again around both pencils so that it's nice and tight. Now it is okay if it looks a little like this, it doesn't have to be straight because we'll get it straight as we build the rest of our catapult. The next thing you're going to do, take your plastic spoon and you're going to put it on one end of the arm and take just a little bit of tape and tape it down to the pencil at the end just like this. Now you can use scotch tape, you can even try and use some of the rubber bands, but whatever you use, you want to make sure that it's on good and tight because you don't want it to go flying off when we launch. Alright, that's our arm part. Now we just start making triangles. Take two pencils, take a rubber band and put it around like this, twist like that, come back over, do it again and again and again and again until the rubber band is completely tight around both of them. And it'll look like that. Then twist them so you've got them out so that they start looking like the top half of a triangle. Put our arm on and you're going to make the base. And what you're going to do is hold them like this and do the exact same thing again. Put a rubber band around, twist, 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 twist. All right, this is the base of our catapult. Now we're gonna start building the upper part of it. And it's exactly the same as before. Take two pencils, rubber band them together. All right, spread them just like before. Put them on either end. It doesn't matter whether they're on the inside or the outside. And it is gonna be a little more difficult to start wrapping because you're wrapping three pencils now. but it should still hold pretty easily. Again, just be careful you don't let a rubber band snap you. Okay, our last two pencils, instead of making a triangle with them, we're just going to put them on either side of our arm and attach them here and up here and the arm is going to be able to swing up and down between them.
All right, our catapult is almost entirely made, but you can see it doesn't really want to launch, right? So take one last rubber band, adjust your arm so that the bowl of the spoon is parallel with the ground. Put this around just like that and stretch it up and around the edge. Now it's going to want to slide down and we have one last thing to do. Take our paper clip, clip it around the pencil and around the rubber band and the spoon and that is going to be how you can pull it. Oh, you see, there it goes. All right. Now what we are doing is we are adding energy to our catapult here. When we push down, we add that energy and it becomes something called potential energy. It has the potential to do something. We add our rubber band here and when I let go, it throws the rubber eraser. That energy, that potential energy, when we release it, is converted into momentum. And it transfers that momentum to our rubber eraser and launches it through the air. Now, a couple of rules with our catapults. To be safe, never point at any people, any animals, anything that you care about or that your family cares about or that you don't want to break. You've got to be careful with this, be safe. Don't point it at anything you care about. Don't point it at people. It can hurt if you do this wrong, and we don't want to hurt anybody. This is a fun experiment. Um, like I said, this is a triangle-based one, but you can do a bunch of different designs. You can make them like squares. You can make it with just the swing arm and one pole sticking up to hold it. Try out a couple of different ways. Add some different rubber bands to see if you can give it some more oomph. Um, play around with it. Experiment. See what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to uh, come back and join us again for the next Wonder Zone video.